Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, peace be upon you, respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. In today's episode, we are going to be exploring the inference to the best explanation. In the previous episode, despite the extreme time constraints, we attempted our best to introduce the viewer, the means and method through which our non-Arabic speaking brothers and sisters in Islam and even our compatriots in humanity who are not Muslim can come to appreciate the miracle of the Quran from a linguistic perspective. I have already explained in that previous episode, but I wish to emphasize further for the dear viewers that we do not restrict the Arabic miracle to merely being linguistic. Yet we believe that the linguistic miracle is indeed the main miracle through which the Holy Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him and upon his pure family and Allah, were able to challenge the vast majority of people at the time of the Holy Prophet. Other miracles have of course unfolded throughout history, yet such miracles were not necessarily as manifest to the people at that time of the Prophet as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has deliberately left us signs throughout all ages so that we believers who would be cut off from access to the Holy Prophet in history would be able to appreciate the Quranic miracle despite not having access to the Holy Prophet we will cover some of them in further episodes. In the previous episode, however, we introduced the concept of the inference to the best explanation of the available data and quoted an expert on the philosophy of history in regards to such an approach. We will further cite the expert on another statement of his to explain this process once more. We begin by considering plausible candid explanations and then try to find data that discriminate between them. An inference may be defeated when someone suggests a better alternative explanation, even though the evidence does not change. Peter Limpton, Inference to the Best Explanation, 2nd edition, Routledge, 2004, page 64 to 65. This statement accurately summarizes the process of the inference to the best explanation. Inference to the best explanation, however, of the available data on the Quranic miracle. Now, to summarize the approach that inference plays here, our argument flows as follows. First, expression of the Arabic language, fusha, can be divided into poetry, prose, and muqama. Second, poetry, prose, and muqama are within the productive capacity of any Arabic scholar who expresses himself in Arabic writing or speech. Three, but the Quran is none of the three above categories of Arabic expression while it's utilizing exactly the same tools as the above three. Four, therefore, Quran is out with the productive capacity of Arabic scholars. Five, the best explanation of something which violates the natural limits of the Arabic language is a supernatural one. Six, therefore, we can infer the Quran is supernatural. This is for today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes, Thank you very much indeed for being with us and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.